Doug, fire away. We haven't uh, gotten to talk to you since the loan was made permanent. How does it feel to have a, a home? Yeah, uh, as all I said, like, it feels like home. Um, I want to. I want that to happen. And uh, now that I'm here, I just want to enjoy uh, myself, my teammates, the city, and uh, go far away this season. What did y'all learn uh, from last week in Birmingham that you hope to make better on Saturday in Athens against Memphis? Oh, it was the first game of the season. Uh, of course, we tried to, to put in work like what the coach was, was ask us to do, and uh, it's a process. So we, we're going to get there with time. So we still a few more weeks, more games, and we're going to put the work there. What do you hope to improve upon from last season, you, individually? No, of course, like uh, score more goals, you know. Okay. You guys know, like last season I came, I didn't have the preseason, so get like fit and uh, score more goals, more assists, and uh, help the team. In Birmingham last week, you were the first Atlanta United player to be affected by this rules change about being allowed to come back yeah. onto the field. Did you know what was going on, why, why they weren't letting you back on the field? Nah, the coach, he told us, but like, you know, I, I was at the game, but I forgot, I forgot about right. it. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we need to live with this. It took us a few seconds. We were trying to figure out why are they not allowing them yeah, back I on? Forgot. And then we remembered the rule change. Yeah, true. I forgot. <laughs> but like, yeah, we need. As I said, we need to live with there and uh, yeah, try not to 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 stay on the floor for for a long time. <laughs> right. How helpful has it been you coming in last season, late in the year, to kind of getting started this year with knowing exactly how Gonzalo wants the team to play? No, like he's a great coach, you know, he's have uh, very not good ideas, you know, and it's easy to play the way he wants us to play because we have like uh, good players, uh, good team. So, yeah, we're just going to put in work what he asked us to do. How the new guys fit into that? No, very good players, you know, we didn't train a lot with them. But, uh, yeah, I hope they, they, they come with, uh, with uh, they put they put a work with us, you know, like they, they help us and, yeah, we're here like to, to welcome them. The other side of it, preseason so far, you've had a lot of the academy players, a lot of the second team players involved. How has that worked out for the team, and how has it helped the team? No, it's good. It's always a good experience to play with. The, the, for them, it's a good experience. For us, it's a good experience too because uh, we'll be able to help them, and they they will be able to to learn with us. What do you look to get out of uh, the exhibition matches leading into the regular season? Uh, as I said, like uh, for me. Like the preseason matches, they it's for us to get like to the um, to the level we want to get, the coach want to get. So as I said, we're gonna work every day. We've been doing these last two weeks, and uh, to get fit this season. Next week, you guys will go on the road to, to Florida. How much can that bring you guys together, especially the players who are new to the club? No, it's good because we're gonna spend a lot of time together. So it's good to get to know each other, like to talk about like personal things, you know, and uh, it's important for, 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 for the team and the way we play, you know, like this, we know each other and then, yeah. I know there's been talk about improving on how you guys finished last year. What do you feel in the time we've had so far this preseason, how do things feel different and, and do you feel like things are trending in the right direction to where, you know, you'll start off maybe picking up where you left off, but with room for improvement on based on what happened last year? Nah, as I said, uh, Gonzalo is a, is, a, is a very good coach, and I think what he's doing now is like uh, the mistakes we, we did last year, he's trying to, to, to correct them, you know? And uh, I think everyone's happy, everyone's agree with him, and uh, that's what he keep going, doing. Most of the transfer windows in the European leagues closed yesterday. Can you explain to Americans what that day is like for fans of soccer in Europe? Is it is it like Christmas or is it nervous? What is it like? No, for me, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll talk personally. For me, it's nice because uh, you know, it's always excited to see who's gonna go to to that team, to other team. You know, excited and uh, we take that very serious. You know, and. Uh, yeah, now I'm in MLS, so I don't care too much. <laughs> yeah. Right. Were you ever involved on a last day transfer window move? Yeah, yeah. When I was was at West Ham, I moved to Nottingham Forest uh -huh. like in last hour. Last hour, yeah. Was that nervous for you? What was that like? Uh, I wasn't nervous because I was in a big club. If I didn't sign for Nottingham Forest, I was going to be in, at West Ham. And uh, yeah, but it's exciting, you know? Yeah. Excited. Okay. I'm just curious. 
on Sunday, uh, people in this city will find out if any of the World Cup knockout round matches will be played in Atlanta. Uh, for folks who maybe don't know how big that would be, how big would it be for the city if a, a quarterfinal or a semifinal was here? No, nah, it's gonna be nice. I don't know if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna see like playing or, or not. But I don't think so. But it's gonna be nice for us like to be able to watch like a World Cup game in our stadium. So I hope, I hope we we had some couple games in Atlanta. Thanks, 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 Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.